Shi Kaihokan here reporting for a review. So in the past few weeks, I actually went into a vacation, sort of. And well, during that vacation, I actually bought a few things that is not relatable to the place that I visit with my family. But instead, I buy model kits. And you probably already see in the corner what are we going to look at because I forgot to hide properly like so but <laughs> right I bought two model kits and well the first one is this right here actually this is not the first one that I buy this is the second one that I buy but I'm going to show this first on this particular video not actually in this video because th this is not for this week this is for the next week but well this is the rx 79g ground type well gundam ground type uh, efsf first produce but mobile suit and this is actually one of my favorite mobile suit because it's so militaristic compared to other uh, gantla i mean i if i did preview the what is it, the Easy SR before? So this is the model kit that it's based off alongside the Easy 8 Gundam. Our Gundam Easy 8. But yes, you can see... But we're not going to talk about this too much. But as you can see, this is a quick look. And that's the price of it on Indonesia. It's 255,000. I'm not sure how many yen. Okay. Okay, 1700 yen and there's some more nice art I mean this is by far one of the best art that I have on the box <laughs> but well, we're not going to talk about that for today instead we're going to talk about this yes yes I finally managed to get my hands on one of these. This is Frame Arms Girl Stylet AIS Color, which is a collaboration between Kotobukiya and Fantasy Star Online 2. Which, well, in on the PSO2 and you can get the what is it? The body part for the cast for Stylet and the for both the Frame Arms and the Frame Arms Girl and. An actual custom for human, which you can al also apply to your characters. So yeah, it's body specific sort of. So this is based on Arcs Interceptors. Oh, I forget what's the full name, but just call it AIS unit. And yes, one of them is colored in red in the opening. If you managed to see it and well this is, this is I mean as far as I'm aware of this is just styled in red but that's what makes it better because it's in red so that's mean it's three times faster and <laughs> well this is the front box art I cannot show you like on the vertical side so you have to tilt your head to the side I'm sorry and as you can see here there is PSO2 logo which is really nice I think this is based on the newer one after episode 4. Episode 4, yeah, this is the one from episode 4, I think, or episode 5. And well, as you can see, it says from her arms girl Stylet with her box art, which is really cute. I mean, then again, Stylet is one of the top girl on FA Girl series, set from Crestfall Girl. I still prefer Gorai, but this Stylet is just too good to miss on, so that's why I buy it. Uh, right, what else? Let's go to the side. This is some of the stuff that you can see. The, the full build here, including a sword, a katana sword. And I think it's include this, this stand. I'm not paying too much attention. And this is the collaboration marking of the PSO2 and this is as you can see the AIS uh, come on there you go and yes Kotobuki also sell that at some point and talking about selling it's kinda hard to find outside of Japan but you can buy it regardless from Japan if you can 
and some expressions here and there. Not sure if it's the same one or it's different and more posing of stylet. The bottom box art is here. Non scale full action plastic model kit, FA Girl stylet, AI color. It's, and then the Japanese lettering on that. And yes, we, as you can see now, we have a closer look on stylet face. And this is some extra information here. And the decal that you can get. In, and some of these are actually arcs. Well, basically from PSO2, like this arcs logo. As you can see. And that's one as well, also arcs. Yes, it, this says arcs actually, but it's just so fake in terms of lettering. And you got panties if you want. But is it in blue? What? Oh. Oh well, that's fine. And some warnings for age over 14 years. I mean, obviously, because there are so many small parts on this thing. And well. Why is it made in China? I think it's the factory is over there. Oh well, I mean it's a Japanese company that just have a factory outside of Japan, I guess. I mean it's a big one. So, uh -huh. There is some support email and stuff like that. Uh, and the top box art also is the same. So, with all of that, let's open the box and see what's inside. I mean, it's obviously you have to build this because it's Kotobukiya kit. So let's see, opening the box art. Mm, this is going to be exciting. And first up, we get a bubble wrap, which is my favorite. Yes, yes, and yes, oh yes. <laughs> let's put that aside. And this is our runner, and as you can see, it's in red, and in a nice red color, sort of, on a lighter tone, I guess. Kind of reminds me of Charles uh, Red, which is not actually that red, but this is actually a closer one to red. And this is for the body part, as you can see, there is so much stuff going on here. Let's put that aside for now. This is for the hair. And yes, you can. This headpiece has the accessories of her. Mm, yeah, that's the only choice we have. Unlike the Gorai Titan, we have two options, but this one just one. It seems, at least. The face, there are four of them. Man, she looks lock. <laughs> uh, what else here? Uh, what is this? Okay. So this is skirts, and it has a pre-painted blue on it. Wow, oh, there is so much reflections here. Uh, and some other parts that I'm not sure. I think this is the chest piece. I'm not sure, but we'll see about that later. Uh, what is this? We have two different pieces here. I am not sure what this is for right now. But they, they are duplicate parts it seems, so you can have a two color choice here. Apparently there is white one and gray, dark gray one? Yeah, it looks, it looks like dark gray. And what else do we have here? There is so much stuff going on. I can't even put it properly. <laughs> okay, this is the fixed leg pose, just like Gorai Kai back when I review it. I mean, it includes the knife as well. But does it include the knife holder? Yes, it is. Nice. Now I can put two knives for Gorai. And that's really important. Uh, what else? Another red piece. Okay, this is the winglets. Well, the arrow parts basically. Wings, flaps, and stuff like that. And some brown color as well here. 
which is probably the arms I are okay this is probably the leg because I saw the armor parts here this is for the leg okay I, there, there is so much and now we are onto the chest piece and the head piece as this is the head piece shoulder I think this is obviously the chest because this is the intake this blue part right here is supposed to be intake so in the original one it's black I think but now it's in blue not sure what's going on and well the color the color uh, stuff uh, and panties so her panties are white huh okay nice I guess <laughs> anyway <clears throat> right what else here we have a set of arms five of them five sets of arms for both sides of the hand which is nice um, what else what else there's so much stuff going on I'm not sure if I can build it in time <laughs> but what is this um, feet I guess I am not sure I mean, one of them is looks like a handle for the gun, as you can see right there. I will see about that later. So, all right. So this is the stand. As you can see, a big plate like that. It's a small one, but it's not gonna be too much. And I'm not sure what this is. Um, right. Probably the tie. No, I don't think that's part of the tie. I am not sure what that is right now. <laughs> Which part of what? And then, uh, well, we have a set of katana, uh, long katana and short katana. So this is for stylet. And yes, I just bought the entire part for yes, auto aside from the headpiece and stuff like that. And more rebel wrap. Oh yes, um, I'm going to play with that later. And then we have the decal on the bottom and the instruction manual. I'm just going to put it sideways to make it nice. Oh wow, this instruction manual is so nice, damn it. I mean it's a booklet but damn, it looks really nice. This is for brain spare parts I guess. Which part do you need? Just order it with this, I guess. And there's a pricing list in yen, obviously. And they even include the polycaps, that's nice. And right, what do we have here? More stylet with Gatling gun and helm missile. And we have Japanese sword. Well, just call it katana, it's so much simpler with that. And you can buy the model kit for the AS itself as well if you really want to. Okay, that, that is the name, Arx Interception Silhouette. And it its height is 10 meters wall, that's its tall. I mean, I know it's really tall in the game, but now I know the scaling. That's, uh, yeah, that's really tall. <laughs> not, not as tall as some of the Gundams, but it is still tall. And this is all the polycaps, and I believe the great mark is the one that you don't use. I think. But there's a lot of stuff here. And what else can we found here? The color code, including her panties. And how you put on the stickers here and there. And yes, I think it's a water slide decal, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure how to use it right now, but I'll try. Because I want to. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that you can do. It even include the back part on how- Oh! There is a tutorial for water slide decal. Nice, nice, nice. That's, that's going to be really helpful, actually. And how you swap the face, and what's that 
handle for it's three millimeter so you can put on pretty much anything there is a lot of tutorials oh my god this is so detailed i i mean i know gorai is also pretty detailed but come on what else do we have here nothing so right i'm gonna build this soon so i'll be right back Alright, I am back and I have done with the build. So, first impression of the build, it is really fun and exciting since last time I've been building model kits. And well, I mean, then again, this is my second Kotobukiya model kit from FA Girl lineup, and gosh darn it, it's. How do I say it? It's really fun to build because there are so many parts, so many details, and. So many frustration actually but <laughs> that frustration is really make things a lot more satisfying actually when you actually made it so i did a bit of stuff which i'll get to later which well kind of went wrong here and there because it's clearly been a very long time since last time i actually built it so back now she is actually on a stand which comes with the model kit and it's really light, you can just move it around with it. So, yeah. But, well, let's go into the first thing first. By the way, this is the attachment point, which, well, in in the game, well, where it collab, it kind of makes sense for a, kinda, a katana placement there, which I really like. Which I did on PSO2, and well, let's start with the looks. Well, it is stylet, of course, she's cute, and her hair is so nice, and it's pinkish color, kind of makes sense with the red, it's so nice. Really love it. And the details, if, even though with the straight build, it's really good. I really love it. I mean, there's the jet engine, which literally looks like a jet engine from an airplane. <laughs> they just slap it on on the back, <laughs> just minimize the model and just slap it on on the back like that. It's really funny and it has some feel stuff there. And there's her panties. Oh, I didn't uh, push that properly. Maybe that's why it's loose. I don't think that's why the reason, but yeah, I'll get to that later. And there is her color, which is, well, pretty hard to put on because it's put on such a weird angle. It's just, you just need to make it work in a way. So you know what? Oh, by the way, this is black and some, most of the white pieces here are, has the gray counterpart which is well let's see let me show you what i mean the wheel right here is actually a gray counterpart and i picked that because it's contrasting with the frame motor and actually i most of this stuff that's supposed to be gray in the box art i choose to pick the white version of it because it's contrasting more better with red well as far as it is and well, I do love it. So, like, let's start with the articulation. So, let's start with the head. It goes. Okay, what? Mm, right. It goes up and down. Doesn't move back and forth, but it goes up and down a little bit. Rotates, so it got caught by the hair. Especially with this setup right here. The hair is very long, so it goes up and down, it rotates, come on, I need to move it away, so she can move better, but it still get caught by the jet engine, so even though you can make her rotate 360, the jet engine kind of make it get caught in the back, so it's kind of, you know, the limitation of her movement, and strangely enough, for a supposedly more agile unit. This is more restricting than Gorai. And well, <laughs> that's that. And as you can see earlier, 
This can move around. This full 360 if there are no hair. And it goes with the arm. Same goes with the other side. Arm can go 360 as well. And it has a single joint on the arm there. As you can see, it's a single joint. But it do the job very well. And we have this, which is 360, and it goes quite a lot of way. This is the old style joint from Kotobukiya, yeah? and it has no problems to, for being loose. So it, it does get loose with my Type 10 Gorai. So let's go to the back a little bit here. Hair move around, but if you go too far. The hair can, well, detach from the place, so it's kind of weird to have her without her twin tail. So hopefully it doesn't get detached. And onto the back as well, as you can see earlier. Okay, it's kind of hard. And it seems like my the torso got a little loose there, a little bit, but it goes up that far because of the head I mean it can go further if it wants to but that's as far as it can get and it, that's how you lower it chest plate goes rocking a little bit as you can see there not as much movement as Gorai well the older version because there is a new version for Gorai with a big chest <laughs> but it just moves like that you can detach it if you want. As what else? Mm, uh, this curve right here actually can move, but it is way too small. No, I I don't think it can move, but I do remember it move, but it's just so minor, so you don't really notice it anyway. Yeah, it can move, but just a little bit. And it's already separated by from the factory, so you don't need to, you know, do modification like Gun Plus. So then the leg goes that far on front, to the front because of the skirt, and goes back really far. Oh, I also forgot she can bend that way if you want to make her on the prone position, but well, you, you can but. Nah, but go back that far. Double jointed knee. As you can see there. It goes pretty. F wow. Okay. That is some good double joint. That's for sure. Really love that. Okay. Let's make it go back to the original position. It's kind of scary because I already broke it, a part of it actually. I'll tell you about it right now because this is supposed to be moved even though there are no function or anything. So it, if you've seen any other reviews, as you can see here, come on focus, can't take it focus, can you focus properly? No, that's good enough. As you can see that I already cemented because it broke. So it's supposed to be moved to go up like that, and then when you bend your knee, it goes following the contour of your body. Well, well her body. But because it broke, I just decided to use a cement and make sure it dries so it doesn't break off again. So now it's a fixed piece, which I prefer it that way anyway, because there are no reason for it to move at all, in my opinion. But, well, it is what it is. So now you have this flap right here, which we can rotate 360, and go make it upside down, go back upward. And yes, as you can see, the leg seems pretty loose. Not sure why. I mean, I tried to... That's also the reason why I broke this by accident because it doesn't even fix in place like in a lot of reviews. So I tried to fix it and I broke it. So that's something that 
kind of unfortunate but at least it's still fixable because it's just the inner part of it so we go to the foot it goes forward that far and go back really far goes side to side and it has a separate piece with the wheel for the landing gear so you can move it like that and have your landing gear stay if you want but you can go side to side as well all of them this armor move a little bit but not by much and well this can go 360 and you can go make it like that so it extend your feet but unlike <laughs> Gorai's tank track this one well cannot do as much as Gorai's tank track because tank track is much better for this job than a pair of wheel I mean it is a landing gear so what do you expect so that's all about the articulation so now you know let's just let her rest for now let's do the accessories here so let's start with the face we have I dropped one already really give me a moment let's try not to break anything again because I don't want to see my girls breaking apart unless it's a hand tie uh, <laughs> So like, hey, you know what? Let's just show you a few per, a few set of face here. Mm, need to focus a bit more. There we go. Uh, so one that I use is her smug look, which I really love. Her other smile, smug face to the right side. A straight face to the front and a screaming face to the left kind of like go rise type 10 actually but well this is style lab, so it's different so let's see if i want to change the face all i have to do is to pull her part of her head off carefully because I don't want to break it off pull that apart you can pull the face it's kind of hard to do it on camera so I'm not going to do that so just pull the face swap it and put this back on Let's see if I do it correctly and there you go it's that simple but doing it on camera is a lot more tedious than what you expect so on to the next access uh, no not again god damn it i keep dropping her smart face that's not nice uh, this is a little too high but you know it's okay don't have much options on my room here we have five set of hand actually so we have, um, come on, focus, set focus please, oh well, an open hand, another open hand, this is an exp this is called expressive open hand, this is open hand, trigger finger hand, and holding hand, for maybe loot stuff, and uh, well, speaking of that, let's see the accessories, because that's what the hands are for and all you have to do is just pop off the hand it's rather easy but you have to be careful because it like broke off again so let's start with this her main weapon the gatling gun come on focus i said focus you... mm. why can't you focus today there you go this is her gatling gun it is pretty nice looking even though i still have a lot of mouth mark because i'm such a stupid builder 
not just as, uh, well I'm more of an, just an assembler than a builder actually but yeah so this is her Gatling gun this is actually appeared as well on stylet as obvious it, as it can get and this one doesn't need a trigger finger gun because well it doesn't require a trigger finger to hold I mean it's a Gatling gun this Gatling gun doesn't have a trigger at all so you can add the additional part where it gives you an actual handle but who needs that <laughs> um right let's pick up the hand here come on i want this to be on the right hand so is, it, is this the right hand yes it is so you just jam it in uh, give me a moment doing it on camera is hard all right so so there you go, finally. Took a lot of time just to make sure it fits. And yes, this is the right hand, so... I don't think I'll ever put this thing off again. Because it's just so hard to get it in there. And well, according to the box art, that's how you mount it. As you can see here. So uh, I'm not wrong, but logically speaking, that is wrong as well, <laughs> because it's so heavy on top to mount it like that. So now all I have to do is to make sure I get this off nicely. This is the closest, the closest hand, by the way. As you can see there. Also, it's not painted, the back hand is not painted, so you have to paint it if you want it to be color accurate with the box art. So now, let's mount this one. Um, well, as I said before, doing this on the camera is a lot harder than super supposed to so well hand position is quite annoying right now there we go perfect now she has her gutling on in an awkward position <laughs> meanwhile it's supposed to be mounted like that and her hand no actually kind of like that and i bent the barrel a little bit so it's not a big problem ah surprisingly this do works really well despite all problems So I could, the next thing that I could do is rotate the gun a little bit because that is an adjustable gun. As you can see there. So that's the first accessories. We still have quite some more. <laughs> so the next thing, which I can just skip immediately because it's not really urgent, is this right here this is for a fixed uh, pose for well basically she put off her armor in a little bit just like the original box art for the stylet and gorai so put it off a little bit and basically holding the socks here sort of i'm not sure if you can see it So the socks that you can see here, this is this extra socks with the extra layering of armor for comfort apparently. And this is for holding it like that. 
So that's for the fixed pose, so I'm just going to skip that. And what else? So we also have katana here, a set of them. This is the one that I set it up. This one right here, this is the katana, and it has the unseated version of each blade, so you can make sure she holds it if you want. So I can do it right now because it's the more simpler variant of it. So give me a moment. That's the closest, the closest fist. I'm not going to mount it because, well, I only need the machine gun to be up. And there you go. This is how you hold it. And just imagine you can <laughs> make her hold it like that. As you can see there. Actually, I could do that. But a little obstruct with the other things. But before we go to the other accessories, just mentioning. You can separate this actually because it's actually a separate part and you can mount a single sword if you want but I want both swords so you know you get the idea so you can mount a sword somewhere or you can go mount both of them just like uh, your typical samurai setup which is well your actual katana and your wakizashi well basically the sword the shorter version of your sword the wakizashi and you can do it with a single one if you want but you can only you, you only have one of these so you can only put it on one side if you choose to do so and other extras here actually which is the knife this is well basically the same as gorai so if you want you can put it on gorai then we have the missile pod. This is the, the other weapon that she has, and it's mounted on the left hand. So, if, I may not show you, but there is a mounting point on the back right here. As you can see there, on the back of the hand. All you have to do is to just mount it. So, give me a moment. Just snap it in, and you are good to go. So I'm going to make her pose like one of those strike pose actually. Yeah, as I can see, it's too heavy for her. So, like those are the accessories. And well, my final opinion about it. I'm just going to put it like that <laughs> because Posing it will be a little harder, but I'll take some time to do it. So, overall, building it is really fun. I really love it. That's for sure. A lot more fun than just uh, high grade, obviously, because well, high grade is the lowest... Well, not really the lowest grade of the Gantla, but it is one of the easy one for now. At least for me. And this is clearly... Not newbie friendly, that's for sure, because I've made some error here and there, a lot of nut mark here and there, which you should clean up and need more painting. I mean, I still could get the uh, where is it? The stickers, the water decal sticker, which I'll probably do it later. Not sure. That is the water decal. Okay, maybe it's at the bottom of the box right now. And well, <laughs> there you go. Style it. AIS color version. 